Hey guys, it's William here. Chinese New Year is coming up and it should be a holiday that we will all enjoy with our family and stuff. But we don't. Because we're gonna receive questions such as... So today, I will be teaching you how to avoid these questions, how to respond them during Chinese New Year. Or even in general. Can be translated as Mind your own business Mind your own business You can You're more than welcome to say this to your uncle As long as you don't tell him that I was the one who teach you this can be translated as that scared those little brats with some firecrackers. That scared those little brats with some firecrackers. Xiao Pi Hai is brats. Brats. And firecracker is of course. So you can say this whenever you feel like someone is harassing you next door and you just seriously want to scare those little brats off. But of course, make sure no one is hurt. This sentence can be translated as You won't get any red envelope because I'm freaking poor this year Although this is pretty easy for most of you guys Hong Bao is of course red envelope Red envelope now I know this won't get to you this year probably because I know all of you are really rich and your cousin are really nice to you. But just for your reference, it may happen in the future and this is a way to respond. Beside these examples, what are some of the most annoying questions that you can ever imagine or you have experienced during Chinese New Year? Leave your comments down below to share with everybody else. So people will know how to respond to them. Beside all these annoying questions, I really hope you can have a really lovely Chinese New Year with your family and with your friends. Have fun and stay healthy. I will see you guys next time in the video. Bye!